and welcome back to the next episode of Pokemon Black and White 2 Soul Link, as brought to you by Colonel Ben SP and the Gamers Brew. As always, I am lost in Charged Stone Caverns, Brandon of the Gamers Brew. And I'm Ben, Colonel Ben SP. And he is not lost in the Charged Stone Caverns. Nope, nope, not at all. I met Jim just... Just dealing with heavy winds. So, at the end of the last episode, as you guys saw, I got further into Charged Stone Caves. Ben got to his gym battle. Well, not really. I mean, I'm in the gym, but I haven't made it to the battle yet. <clears throat> Well, I mean, you're having gym battles. Battles of gym. I mean, what what is Jim telling you? Jim is telling me to go away. Because Jim don't like me. Jim don't like you? No, that can't be. Jim love you. Jim want to be your friend. Well, Jim is a hypocrite. That Jim may be. And why do Jim sound like Bizarro Superman? Oh, I was a little scared that that, w that was gonna kill me. Who's battling for you right now? Well, I ran into a guy who had a golem, and I switched, and he self-destructed, and it was a critical hit. I survived by luck. You survived by luck. My life story. And it's written every day Cause that's the story of your life We're singing Bon Jovi over here, folks Anyways Um, I think I left off talking about how I was gonna talk about why Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remake was not chosen over the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and the answer may surprise a lot of you, including you, Ben. Unless it's actual facts, I won't believe it. It is actual facts. Lies. I'm not lying. Alright, then who said it and why? It's because of VGC. Bullshit. I don't believe you. It totally is because of VGC. Bullshit. Okay. Basically because how they handled X and Y and the release of Ruby and Sapphire, they did not produce a third game for the X and Y series, which is why they hastily threw in um, the 100% uh, form for Zygarde into, uh, into Sun and Moon. That was done as a secondary thought because they didn't produce Z. Because of that, the actual battle tournament suffered for the first time ever, they had to release uh, Legendary Pokemon to be introduced into the VGC, which threw the entire VGC on its head because everyone and their mother was using a Legendary Pokemon at that point. Though. And the whole reason why they did that was so that way they wouldn't have a repeat of the years before VGC, where the same team would end up winning again. That sounds, had like, that sounds like a whole lot of nonsense. It might be a whole lot of nonsense, but this is the whole reason. So in order to prevent such a catastrophe from happening again, what they are doing right now is the release of Sun and Moon added the Alolan Pokemon. Next adds um, additional Alolan Pokemon, which can change up the metagame for VGC, followed by the changing up of move sets with Diamond and Pearl being the last in the series. So they have this planned out three for the next three years when they came out with Sun and Moon. And who said this? It was released by the Pokemon Company that, that um, all their choices for the new series of games will be based on the VGC because of how the VGC tournament turned out the year before Pokemon Sun and Moon came out. This is this is an I'm old sorry, article. But th this is really dumb. I, I can't keep hearing this. What is this massive focus on VGC lately? They never the used to focus on VGC when they used to make their games. 
I know, but now that they are, that's why they added the um, the uh, 31, the, is, the, uh, this, the bottle caps for upping the IVs. This it was to make fucking, it easier for people to VGC. This is fucking retarded. Oh, I completely agree. Because if you look at it, um, the bottle caps for increasing IV stats in Sun and Moon with the bottle caps does not affect hidden power at all. Therefore, it makes it easier for you to breed for a hidden power of your choice then max out the 31 IVs to max out the full potential of your Pokemon while still keeping the hidden power that it was born with. The increase in IVs is only superficial into battles. It does not affect any other condition besides in battles. Even breeding isn't affected once you fully IV it up to uh, 31 with the bottle caps. It does not affect <laughs> via breeding. It still has the original IVs when you breed it. The only thing it affects is battles. Everything they have done for this new generation of Pokemon has been based around VGC. And yet, and yet, let me just tell you this right now. And yet, the fucking balance in the Pokemon games are, are just as bad as it's always been. Yet, oh, they trust me, I... If they want to fucking focus on VGC so badly, they should also focus on trying to balance their fucking game because it's not balanced at all. I completely agree. You know, if they want to focus so much on VGC, they should also do what they what they've been doing so slowly. They should stop doing it slowly and just do it all together. Changing Pokemon stats, changing Pokemon abilities, and giving Pokemon who need move to compete, give them move! Give them the move! Because so many Pokemon are completely useless. <laughs> Whenever I hear you say give them their moves, I immediately couch and falcon being Show me the moves! And stop making more broken Pokemon like Mega Rayquaza and the Tapu! Like the what? The Tahus, yes, ta Tapu, Tapu. No, really tapu not even the Tapu, the Ultra Beast. Not See, I think, that, I think that was a not, mistake for them to allow Ultra Beasts. Not all of them are broken, but holy God! A good portion of them are just absolutely absurd. What was what is wrong with them? Personally, I think they made a mistake when they did that. That's my that's my that's my two cents in the matter. I think them allowing Ultra Beasts into the meta for this year was, was a huge mistake. But that's just me. So yeah, VGC is the thing that's controlling Pokemon right now. Stupid. Downright stupid. Pan Sage is the grass one, right? Yes. What I thought. Because Sage is a plant in which we use to cook. That is true. Are you really yeah. there? Damn. I'm still stuck in- I'm still stuck in the thing. In... charge zone? Yeah, I'm, uh, this is- this has been going on three episodes now for me. You, you got out- you got out in three episodes. I'll, I'll probably be stuck here for four. You just gotta figure out... It's- it's- you just gotta go down and go all- once you go down at least one floor, just make sure that you look at the environment, otherwise gonna... There's like these steps that look like... For me, I didn't notice it, because I thought it was like a place that's gonna go down, but... There oh, are I think steps. I found my way out! Yeah. It's really not that confusing. Uh, 
Infernape, what could have been? Instead, I got a Badoo. Eh. <coughs> Buzu is... A Terrible? Buzu becomes better once it evolves. What do you use to evolve it into the next one, anyways? Is no, it it's, it's friendship. No, after that, into Roserade. Roserade, I think... I think it's a sunstone. Are you sure it's not a moonstone? No. It's not a moonstone. Why would it be a moonstone? That doesn't make any sense. Because there's only a handful of moonstone evolving Pokemon. That being said, we are both wrong. It is a shiny stone. Figured. Well, I made it to Maelstrom City. Hooray. I'm close on your heels, Ben. Well, you better pick up the pace. Get that I know. snowball in faster than you. And unless, I know. And now I have to go ring the bell. And unless a complete disaster happens. If a complete disaster happens this late in the game, Either one of us is going to be fucked. Or someone's going to be very, very unhappy. <laughs> oh wait, I need Ultra Balls, that's right. Should stock up just in case. I'll get 20. That oh, being said, we're gonna be annoying. Specialty balls? Nope, just the weather. Damn weather TMs being all weathery. What killed you? What almost killed you? Muddy water. Ooh, muddy water. It's oh, so muddy. Oh, and it used time promotion, of course it would. I got my Master Ball. How about that? Oh, well, Scoops is dead. Who is Scoops? Oh, the ice cream. Yeah. The ice oh. cream. Critical hit from mud, muddy water. Why would you put ice against mud? Mud always wins against ice. Oh, no, wait, that's the other way around. Ice always beats mud. I know, you freeze the ground. The ground doesn't freeze you. Oh, this Vaporeon's gonna be really, really annoying. Needs to die, needs to die now. Do you have any grass or anything? No, I don't. Oof. I can only hope that I don't get any more critical hits. <coughs> Apparently the gym is already open for me. That's weird, because it was never open for me, if I remember correctly. Ah, 
god. Maybe that's the difference between black and white. Or maybe I just didn't realize it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, this Vaporeon is like the most annoying thing ever. Please die. Thank you. Dead. You know what else is weird? I can't find the TM for myself. For what? Remember how I told you there's a TM on the runway? And you found Skydrop? I guess. There's no TM on the runway for me. Hmm. That's very odd. I got acrobatics. That could come in handy. Acrobatics is an awesome move, isn't it? Uh, based on. Oh, found it, baby. Sky drop, found it. But um, acrobatics doesn't that re rely on no item? Yep. Which is helpful. Well, I mean, especially here when we don't really have that many items. See if I get something. Well, here's an interesting one. Behem. Behem. B e h e e y e m. The evolved form of behem. Mhm. Mm it's a rock type, if I remember right. No, it's not. It's a psychic type. Really? Because it looks like clay doll. Oh wait, wait, what what? What are you talking about? Talk about the alien one with the three dots on its hand. No, it's a psychic type. It's a psychic type. Really? Yes. I mean I thought you would have figured that by the fact well, that it's an alien. Well, I figured it was a psychic, but I just didn't realize that... You know? Well, I better make sure I take off this item. Oh, I didn't even have an item. Okay, well, see ya. Vanilla... Welcome, Archon. Hopefully you don't die on me. Who's Archon? Arche Archeops, the uh, pre-evolution. Oh, I love Archeops. He's one of my favorite fossils. It's pretty terrible. As soon as it gets its HP down to half, it's pretty much useless. Now I need to make sure that it gains some levels. Has your dragon evolved yet? Nope. How close is he? Not even. It's gonna take a bit. Hmm. Well, I caught him. Now the question is, what am I gonna do with him?
the cerebral Pokemon. Apparently, it communicates by flashing three fingers, but those patterns have never been decoded. Well, I good thing, will well, good thing it's a psychic type, because at the very least, it can communicate. It can communicate through its mind. A twist Mountain with the map. Map. I think I think Twist Mountain was uh, the. I don't know. I cannot answer these things for you. I guess I'll call you Peridot. We're still doing the whole Cartoon Network thing. Well, you're still doing that anyway. Of course I am. I mean, heck, when I did uh, Sun and Moon, I did uh, superheroes and villains. <coughs> Fuck! What happened? I ran into a trainer battle and I didn't want to. Oh my god. Oofalant, Artillery, and Abra. Excellent. What's so excellent about Oofalant? Everything. Archon's gonna die, is he? How you know he's gonna die? No, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying anything. He's not gonna die. That's a shame, because I really like him. <coughs> Go, Archon. Acrobatics everything. Buy more healing items. I'm running out. Get lemonade. Lemonade's delicious. I'm gonna keep moving before that, though. But the lemonade. The lemonade, Ben. How can you ignore the lemonade? Is the lemonade just this? Oh, Archon, get out of there, buddy. You're gonna die if you stay there. That's a weird sound effect from Pin Missile. What? It's like it just does pew 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 and that's about it. No, it's pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Is it now? Pretty much. Interesting. I do love me some pew pew lasers. It does sound like pew pew lasers.
Mother trucking Croconock. Crockerock. Crockerock used intimidate. What does he think this is? Oh god, why? It's a double battle in the grass. What's in the double grass battle? Is it something you can catch? The Streaka and Zigzagoon. It's nothing I'm interested in, and I can't catch it anyway. Aww. But Zebstrika is a pretty pony! It's not a pony, it's a zebra. Zebras can be ponies, too. Lies. Lies and slander, you say? Ah, oh, suck it. He was facing in that direction. I was expecting the other direction. Ah. Little girl, little girl, what do you have to throw at me? A semi-poor? Semi-poor is almost as useless as semi-sage. And semi-seer. And they're the most forgotten good. Pokemon. Thunder Punch! Thunder, Thunder, Thundercat. Oh. Takedown does recoil damage, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. Double Edge does damage however you take... Double Edge and Takedown take the same amount of physical damage back, don't they? Mm, I don't necessarily. I don't. I don't know. I can't tell you. Preschooler Jamie has been defeated, and I got an elixir. Wasn't there a purpose to going in the tower in the last game, though? Yes, there was. Maybe not so much in this game. Freaking spore effect? Spore is really annoying. No, Spore Effect. It's like Poison Point, except you get a random status element. That's also really annoying. I'm assuming you fa you're facing one of those mushrooms. I did, and I killed it. Now I have to use one of my uh, vanilla things. Castile Cone. It looks like a soft serve ice cream. Fungus or Amoongus? Ah, uh, the little guy. Fungus. There's a fungus among us. Oh, I love that saying. Almost as much as I love, oh, know me, don't you know me? Ah, uh, Twist Mountain. Okay, I'm on the right path at the very least. In, like, two minutes we should be ending this, though. That gives me enough time to capture another Pokémon! Stay tuned. Wait. Well, what? I forgot how I forgot how awesome the music for this tower is. I can't go to Twist Mountain because it's collapsed, so this isn't the right way at all. Oh no, this is where you have to start doubling back. Remember you have to go back to Nimbasa City. The water the water tunnel. What do you mean? Um, go back to Nimbasa City and head to the right at the top of Nimbasa City and head to the right. That, that path will be open now. I remember that. Oh, I remember that. Ah, backtracking. Oh my god! <laughs> what? 
What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> so, you remember how I lost uh, Axie, right? Yes. Guess which Pokemon I get for Celestial Tower? What? Bagon. Okay. That means I get a Salamence! And you literally almost take out my ear just because you got a Bagon. I'm sorry, am I not allowed to be happy? Oh yeah, as long as you don't make me deaf! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, wrap it up, boy. Um, if we're at the end, we might just have to see how this one plays out in the next episode! Do I catch the bag on the Jotai? Hmm. <laughs> so we'd like to thank you guys for watching! Pokémon Black and White 2 Soul Link is brought to you by Colonel Ben SB and the Gamers Brew. As always, we'd like to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to both the Colonel Ben SP and the Gamers Brew. You can also follow Colonel Ben SP on Twitch at Epic Gaming for You. You can find all these links in the description below. And until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm Ben. And we'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you guys all next week. Hey there, this is Brandon of the Gamers Brew. Thanks for watching our Pokemon Soul Link run between Colonel Ben SP and the Gamers Brew. We'd like to ask you to like, share, and subscribe to both Colonel Ben SP and the Gamers Brew. And as always, thanks for watching.